We are here with Jonathan Wendell, better known as Fatality. What did you think of the conference today? Uh, you know, it's really great to be a part of this. Uh, you know, last year I was invited by A.G. Burnett and, uh, and Sandoval, the governor of Nevada, to come and speak about the eSports, uh, you know, kind of a day in the life. And uh, that was really uh, enlightening for me to see kind of like, uh, you know, how professional that Nevada is trying to take this and bringing integrity into esports and uh, making sure everything is fair and then you know they want to make wagers on this because esports is becoming the sport of the 21st century uh, so I think everyone's just trying to find that roadmap and that uh, uh, you know bring it to uh, you know bring it out what was the very first video game you ever played uh, the very first video game I ever played I mean I played uh, I mean, I played Super Mario Brothers. Uh, I, the first game, probably don't even know, is called the Kari Warriors. It was uh, it was one of the first games on Nintendo when, in like 1985. Uh, so I've been playing games a long time, but uh, I grew up as an athlete playing a lot of sports. And then uh, at nighttime in Kansas City, Missouri, you know, I love uh, playing my video games and. Uh, and then basically in 1999, I decided, uh, you know, that everyone was doing this as a hobby, playing esports as a hobby. And I was like, well, I think you can make a living out of this. So basically, I, I decided I'm going to make a full time uh, commitment to this and make it my career. And, you know, basically from there on out, I, uh, I started winning a lot and uh, I was able to make, you know, six figures here and there every year. Uh, and then I kind of parlayed it into a, an esports lifestyle brand for gamers where I make hardware for gamers and so on. So it's kind of a, a footprint for like every gamer that uh, wants to be a pro gamer. I kind of lived it and, and done it. So uh, I bring that integrity and that uh, realism to uh, this uh, uh, gathering. That's very important. So with this becoming a more and more apparently lucrative position, how do you think the ethics of gaming will change? Well, you know, I mean, for one of the biggest things I always work on is like sportsmanship and trying to uh, educate even the gamers themselves, like this is a sport. Um, so I was kind of one of the first guys to go up and shake hands before and after matches to kind of represent, hey, this is a sport, this is competition, there's rules. And, you know, and for me, with the integrity that we're talking about here at this uh, conference is that, you know, at the end of the day, you want to know you won because you won because you're better or you lost because you're not as good. Um, so I think that was kind of the mission here was to bring that integrity, but they're also talking about the sports betting side as well, which they want to bring integrity to that where people aren't uh, fixing matches and so forth. So there's a lot of integrity going on, uh, and um, that's something I kind of founded my career on. And uh, you know, I, not to tap my own horn, but I received the Lifetime Achievement Award for uh, my efforts in this in this regard. Uh, you know, bringing good sportsmanship to the space and trying to, uh, you know, I, I was kind of Johnny Appleseed for a long time. Uh, I'm not sure if people know that story, but basically I went barnstorming acro across the globe to pr pretty much every continent besides Antarctica, uh, spreading, you know, esports is a sport of the 21st century. It's coming. We're building our fan base every day. And today we're kind of like at the, at the peak. Uh, we're not at the peak yet, uh, but we're like on the mountain. Uh, and uh, we are building uh, to make this truly the sport of the 21st century. And I think that's going to happen in the next five years. Wow. Well, thank you so much for your input. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs>